my channel and into another Dollar Tree haul. Now, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Sue, and for those of you guys who just keep coming back for more, thank you so much for all the love and support. I really do appreciate that. And I love seeing everybody's comments in the description box or in the comment boxes. Um, the last few weeks, we have really picked up on our comment taking. Um, so I'm really, really loving that. Um, we have some new things at the Dollar Tree, or at least that's new to me. Um, we are also doing a $20 or under Dollar Tree haul. So I'm giving myself the challenge to spend $20 or less in Dollar Tree all summer long. So you are going to see me picking up what we need. If I find any anything interesting that I don't need, I'm gonna attach them to the end of the video. This week, however, I didn't take any pictures because I pretty much got everything that was new to me, um, which wasn't much, but I did spend $18 and some change. So I did spend under my $20 this week, so I'm really excited about that that um, and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in the first thing since I'm holding it is this ruler this is a metal ruler um, have you guys like lived for metal rulers when you guys were younger I've not seen an actual metal ruler in a very very long time but I'm going to be using this for measuring planner boxes and things I'm gonna start designing my own planner stickers so I picked up that metal ruler for me. I like it. It's heavy. It stays put. You know, metal rulers are the bomb. And then I also picked up some of these plastic ones. If you guys have been around on my channel long enough to know, the last couple of years we do um, donations. We fill up backpacks. As many backpacks as I can afford to do, we collect those throughout the year. And then I fill them up with school supplies for kids, like I take the school supplies list for the kids in our town and I fill up the backpacks and then I donate them to the school. Um, and I needed three more rulers to go in those backpacks. I think I've gotten about 36 backpacks ready to go. So I'm really, really excited. I was just missing these um, rulers and so i have what i need for that and i will be sending those off to the back to school drive um in the next week or so i'm really really excited about it um next thing is toothpaste i don't know why that's exciting it's not really my youngest one won't use like regular toothpaste because he's still a little young yet um it's too hot it's too spicy for him, you know what I'm saying? So I just picked this up. Hopefully it's not as spicy as the other ones. I picked up just a pack of these regular Emery boards. Now I don't know about you guys, but like these are the kind of Emery boards that I like. And I'm gonna be doing some dip nail gel nail things. I purchased a serendipity dip nail kit at Walmarts. And um, it's been a while ago since I bought it. Uh, but I'm going to give it a shot either today or tomorrow while I'm hanging out for the weekend. So I thought these would come in handy for that. So I went and picked up that. I went ahead and picked up these um, men's one pair of this men's performance athletic sock. My husband is just blown away by the fact that I buy Dollar Tree socks and they last me forever. And it doesn't matter what kind of socks he gets. <coughs> he always tears them up. So I went ahead and picked up this one pack, orange is his favorite color. I picked up this one pair and I'm going to let him try these out and see um, if he likes them. I love these performance socks by Dollar Tree. I think they are great for a dollar. They, like I said, they last me a long time. Even the little thin decorative socks for me last me like forever, seriously. So I went ahead and picked him up that just to be, you know, funny really inside funny joke between us here. Um, I found this guy, have you guys seen this? Um, this is a belt hanger and I'm pretty excited I actually came across this. I would have preferred it to probably be in like a different color to go on my closet, but we have belts out the rear end just hanging around. So I figured I can just hang this up and just organize and put the belts on there. So exciting. 
And then, if you guys don't know, I'm an organizer freak. So I like everything to have its place and that's going to work real well in our closet. Like I said, I wish it was a different color, but you know, harm, no harm, no foul. At least it'll be in the closet and out of the way. Nobody will see it. Um, and then I found this. Have you guys seen this? This is a, what is this? This is an eyeglass cleaner. It says Happy Eyes Eyeglass Cleaner. It is not a Bolero product. It is made in Canada and it's cruelty free. Um, this was the only one that I seen on the shelf. So I went ahead and picked it up. I probably would have picked up another one. You guys know I wear my glasses all the time and I'm cleaning them things all the time. Like right now, they could stand to be cleaned, but you know, I'm making this video. So it says it's anti-fog, anti-static, and non-abrasive. So, and it's 8.45 fluid ounces. Like it's a big um, container for a dollar. Like when you go to Walmart and buy like eyeglass, solution it's way more than a dollar and the bottles are usually much smaller than this one so we're going to give it a try if anybody out there has tried this leave me a comment down below and let me know how it works out um hopefully it doesn't do any of the smearing stuff because i really can't hang with that i found some holy cheese now, th if you guys ever bought this stuff in the store, it's also really expensive. I mean, it's not really expensive. It's like three bucks or so. But, I mean, for a bag like this to pay a dollar for it, what's the expiration date? It is good until December of 2019, and my kids will probably have this eaten before the weekend's out. I'm going to hold one back to take to Grandma's house and let them take the other one, or let them eat the other one. We're going to the water park tomorrow, so maybe we'll take this along for snacky snacks. Um, and they're not that bad. The calories for 28 crackers, it says the calories are 130. So that's not bad. So I picked up the one in mild cheddar. And I picked up the one in smoked Gouda. Um, I don't think my kids have ever tried these, but I really like the cheddar ones. I've never had the Gouda ones. So we will see if my kids like them. I'm sure they will. They're boys. They eat everything in the house. You know what I mean? Let's see. I picked up a couple of these suave um, hair conditioner, deep conditioning masks. You guys know I like condition my hair all the time at least once a week if not twice a week because i'm old now and my hair gets drier and drier by the day so this is by swap professionals and, and it is almond and shea butter it says it's 100 percent natural um, and it says deep conditioning mask moisturizes for touchably soft hair um let's see do we got parabens or anything in here probably it says you can use it up to two to three times a week. Um, I don't see any parabens in it. So maybe it is paraben free. Normally if it's paraben free, it normally says it, but I don't see it on the outside package. And I'm reading through the ingredients and I can't see parabens, but that's just a quick glance at it. Um, either way, um, you know, you can't really go wrong with a, with a moisturizing mask for your hair. So I did pick up two of those. I found some face masks, guys. Have you guys seen these from Bolero? Like, they're, they're starting to get all fancy on us and stuff. Acting real bougie up there in the Dollar Tree with these uh, Bolero products. This um, says it is free of parabens and dyes. And it says, all that glitz. This is a pomegranate and green tea paper facial mask. It is soothing, moisturizing, and revitalizing your inner beauty. I don't know if it can do that, if it can revitalize inner beauty, but we'll, we'll see if it doesn't revitalize my face. How about that? Um, did, has somebody tried to eat this? Because it says, for external use only, avoid contact with your eyes. Please do not um, apply to broken or inflamed skin. Keep out of the reach of children. So, yeah, we're going to give this one a try. And if I don't try these, I like to uh, buy these things and send them back for, like, teacher gifts and things like that. This one is a paper facial mask. Blueberry Bliss your new secret weapon for smooth soft skin also free of parabens and dyes 
This one says, get a soft, smooth skin with a dose of our blueberry-infused sheet mask. It's your new secret weapon to looking your very best. What? I mean, I'm loving the packaging. They are, and they're like, um, you know, this is like a good, like, plastic. Not like the other, like a heavier plastic than the other ones they had come out with. So, I'm loving the new bougie, um packaging and with that I bought three of these things I bought three of these guys now you guys know that I love the bath salts the baths the bath bombs and the facial wipes from Bolero those are my favorite but this you guys is a shower steamer it says turn your shower into a relaxing experience it says pomegranate and green tea it's a three pack and again it's got it's all that glitz just like this face mask is here so that's kind of exciting it says um, directions place tablet onto your shower floor or shelf where it gets wet but not but is not in the main water stream as it fizzes the aroma is released into the shower and the surrounding bathroom so you guys have to let me know if you guys are seeing these if there's more flavors out of these this is the only one that i seen um i'm assuming there's probably one to go with this face mask but i didn't see any of them but i did pick up three of these because if i'm not taking a bath i'm taking a shower you know what i mean so i will give these a try let me know if anybody has tried these um in the comments below let me know do they like melt away real good I've only ever used like in shower steamers by like Bix, you know, when I'm sick or whatever. So yeah, the ingredients are okay. Fragrance, Epsom salt. So it's kind of the same ingredients as the bath salts. Um, it's just made into a little tablet. So I'm interested. Let me know if you guys have used those down below. Um, and that's it guys. That's my $18 Dollar Tree haul. I found some new things and I got some things that we actually needed which is really good. Um, I mean I could have lived without this stuff but you know I'm not going to as long as I'm coming in under my $20 budget y'all. Um, so yeah if you like Dollar Tree hauls give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know um, what's going on in your Dollar Trees. Are you guys getting new stuff? Have you guys seen these things? Um, let me know down below uh, some of the new products at your Dollar Tree. I'm still looking for them um, makeup brushes in the three pack um, in the like little box. I still haven't been able to find that. I've been looking for it for three weeks now. No luck so far. Eventually, I guess one of these days they'll get to my store. You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Um, I'll see you guys next week for another Dollar Tree haul. Bye, y'all.